So we're here trying out Filipino food slash kind of like American style. Um, it's the Guerrilla Street food here in St. Louis. I'm at the Del Mar Loop. Um, I got the, um, uh, the flying pig and the uh, sisig taco. So I'm really curious how that is going to turn out. Um, I really love sisig. I make them at home as well. You cook it with pork belly, uh, you grill it, and you cook as well um, the pork ear. What you actually do with that is you boil it. So you boil those two together, bay leaf, you know, um, ground, uh, sorry, not ground black pepper, but the whole black pepper corn. It just simmer it and make it tender, and then you grill it. And once that's done, you uh, basically chop it up into little pieces and then uh, coat it with mayonnaise, and that's really good. So I'm really curious how they're gonna turn out here at Gorilla Street Food here in Del Mar Loop, St. Louis. So um, let's get on to it. I'm super excited. I'm waiting for it. I'm hungry. Oh, I can't wait. And the Flying Pig, I've had that before. Um, they keep changing their menu here though, but um, the Flying Pig has been there constantly. So I'm gonna have that again. That's gonna have an egg on top of it, I believe. So um, let's see what uh, the food is going to be. It's super starving right now. Oh my God, perfect timing lunchtime and they just recently opened up so there's like barely anyone here so here is the uh, sisig tacos it's pretty interesting i'm kind of hoping for like some pork belly in there so i guess this is like a pork belly got that really good sauce as well i wonder what this is called it's like it's like a mayonnaise um, paprika flavor it's got onions, green pepper, and I guess, I don't know if that's the thing. I think it's some like big pork in there. But I guess we're not gonna get our pork beer. And um, I don't know if there's pork belly in there, so we're gonna bite on it and see. Um, I love Christina Sofa pork sisa. This is like, they're kind of their own twist, you know? So let's try it out. spicy it's got like it's really truly tasting it it's actually not so bad but i was really hoping for more like a you know tiny mix of pork than being a full pork it is um i don't know i don't know how i feel about this one i don't think this really represents the specific but it's gonna be their own twist very odd it's a full pork instead of like pork pork belly um, you know crispy pork belly chunk into bits and um your pork here. But hey, this is your style. It's not that bad. Um, especially if you don't know what you see, it's not that bad. Um, if something you know, very big has some serrano peppers in here, I could really taste that. Uh, I think it's kind of spicy. So that was what I wasn't aware. I'm not really big the spicy food. But this is a little closer to that. It's mostly like a So we got the flying pig here. It's got egg in there. I like that they gave me a spoon because uh, us Filipinos, we love to use a spoon. But you can see there's the egg in there, right there. We can break it apart. You can see that. And the meat is is a uh, is pulled pork. I think the main ingredient here is pulled pork. The sauce is um, it has, has some sriracha, sriracha in there. Some um, I guess some soy based sauce as well. Poison, I'm not so sure. I guess a little bit of a Chinese influence as well. You know, Filipino food has some Chinese influence. But this is their own twist. Um, taking a bite, it does look delicious. Uh, I know it's really good. It's one of the most more famous and more popular. Uh, but this isn't really more like authentic Filipino food. It's more like catered to um, Western. So it's really a fusion of a Filipino American style food. So. Taking a bite there, really, the the sauce is definitely more like a hoisin sauce. Um, that, it's, it's pretty good, actually. Very tasty. Um, this is definitely not a uh, Filipino dish. Where this is more like a um, more like their own style of dish. 
It's really delicious too. Um, I still have to finish my tacos. It's like over there. And look at it. It's just over a bed of rice. Oh, I spilled some. Oof. Man, it's actually... Wow, look at this. It makes you really hungry right now, huh? So the way you eat like Filipino food, you put the rice into that spoon. Well, since I'm using my right hand, holding the phone, recording this, that's how you do it, guys. Take a bite like that. It's actually delicious. Oh, definitely order this again. But I kind of wish there's a little bit more fat in there. As like Filipino, you know, food or Filipino people, we love our, you know, uh, fat content on the food. Here's another bite size. Here, take some. Take a bite. <laughs> okay, so you see that Philippine flag over there? Pretty cool, right? Um, the food was okay, honestly. Um, what, what I would say is that I wouldn't say that that is more like a Filipino food. I would say more of a fusion with American and a little bit of twist on their own culinary style. Um, it definitely doesn't represent the Philippines, uh, the food-wise. But it's delicious, still. Uh, I think if you are a Westerner, it's something that you would like. There's a lot of flavor in it. But if you are straight from the Philippines, I don't think you will, um, you will like it as much as um, you know, authentic Filipino food. But I got to get back to work. I'm here in my car now. I'll see you guys. Bye.